What is going on guys? Today we are looking at the player of the month for the Bundesliga. It is Undav. I remember him from team of the seasons that this car genuinely could be quite good. And hopefully if he does keep performing like this, we do see a team of the season by the end as realistically it's going to be the best shout. Whether we can put him into evolutions anytime soon, that shooting is a little bit high. So I can imagine it might be a little bit of a time to go. But he's very cheap. He's coming in at 25,000 coins, 186 and an 84 rated team. And to be honest, he's not looking terrible. If we could add that skill move, that's going to be a massive, massive bonus for the card. He is high low. He is a three star, five star. Like I say, that four star skill move would make this card just so much better. He's 5'10. We could put him in striker, center forward, and also cam. In terms of shooting, we are absolutely golden. Pace-wise, could do with that boost. Dribbling-wise, agility balance is not terrible. Great composure, great strength and aggression. Head and accuracy is there. Unfortunately, doesn't have the playstyle plus, which I saw a tweet saying that all SBCs should have a playstyle plus, and I totally agree. I get that maybe the lower-rated cards, they don't, but... I don't see why the problem would be. We already know that they can change them left, right, and center, like we've seen with the Trailblazers, like we've seen with multiple cards. For instance, Player of the Month Mbappe has a change in Playstyle Plus, so I feel like this card could have been so much better, even if it was a power shot. They know what the Playstyle Pluses are most meta, so they could go with something like a Relentless, like they keep giving us, or something just difficult, going for technical or something. Just gives him a little bit more of an edge when this 86 rated card is not necessarily going to go into many main teams, but he could at least feature in some. In terms of chemistry styles, we are going to play with what a footbin is suggesting. They're suggesting the engine, which obviously will give you a bit more on the pace as well as the agility balance. Then obviously Hunter. We will see which one is a better fit. If you go with the Hunter, you get 89 pace, 95 shooting, a 92 overall striker. If you went with the engine, you'd get an 89 rated striker, 85 pace, 88 passing and 90 dribbling. I get it. I can kind of see where they're coming from. We'll have a look. So going into the overall forum then, honestly, 
not terrible. Great shot on him, sometimes a little bit stiff. That freestyle skill move is going to cause problems in the later divisions. I could imagine you'll get away with him kind of like Division 10, probably through to about Division 4, maybe maybe potentially free depending on your level but most definitely as you get into them two ones and elites he's just not going to be productive honestly i feel like when you've got a striker you've got to have one that is very fluid on the movement especially when you do come up against them five backs the maldinis the virgils all of the above and honestly it's it's a shame because like i said with a play style plus he could be improved. I'm not going to say hit and sit here and say that he'd be absolutely magnificent with one, but he most definitely would be better and have a different attribute that you could prove. But the four-star skill move is going to be number one. Now, the big thing when it comes to cards like this is them evolutions. For instance, we did get this one. Uh, I still can't pronounce it, but for instance, if we did manage to get him in here, this could have been a perfect one for him. Unfortunately, the max 86 shooting is going to cause a problem. Otherwise, he could have potentially gone in. But this takes a card, for instance, uh, we'll go for an Ollie Watkins, say. Or in fact, we'll go with a Hoyland. It takes him from his normal 85 to an 88. And for instance, we take him from an 86 to an 89. But then we get the extra bonus. If we could find one with A, a four-star skill upgrade, maybe even a cheeky play style plus later on down the line, this card could prove himself a lot more useful. In terms of the SBC itself, very cheap, very affordable, 186, 84 rated team. So you can grind him out with absolutely bare minimum. The only problem with using this card as just fodder is the fact that you've got to put an 86 already in i know if you use technically a duplicate you are gaining one back as such you're not having to use that 86 straight away so you are technically gaining an 86 back with it and obviously you're using some 84s and 83s but i do think in terms of the card i would say evolutions is going to be its best friend if he doesn't get another version anytime soon it's a nice upgrade from its previous obviously the pace is going to be massive bonus shooting as well and i think in terms of a card it's great value for another player of the month but unfortunately he's not going to make it into them top divisions which you probably would have already understood but let me know down below if you are going to complete him and hopefully if he does get an evolutions we'll get a review out on him take care Peace.